What is up, man? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Um, I don't even know what week it is. It's meat week. <laughs> uh, gonna hop right into it. This week was amazing. Uh, it went really well. It went exactly how it should have gone. Actually, it went better than how it should have gone. So I'm, I'm freaking stoked, man. Weights are probably moving faster than they ever have uh, in prior meat preps, I'm thinking. So, like, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to blow up this meat. So, uh, day one, hit a 430 squat. That uh, uh, That's like my opener. Uh, it moved like an opener, you know, and it'll move even faster next Saturday uh, or this Saturday. Yeah. Um, then uh, hit bench 270 at RP8. Um, probably is a little bit less than RP8. Uh, maybe like a seven and a half, maybe. Um, it went really well. Uh, yeah. That'll be pretty close, I think, to my second attempt. I think my, sec my opener will be 260, second attempt to be around 275, something like that, and then go for 292. So, something like that. Um, so, that's pretty nice to see out of a close to a second attempt. Uh, so day two, we deadlifted 555, moved like an opener. Um, easy money. Uh, tempo bench 260. Um, that was also, that was actually kind of hard um, for, for an RP7, but still, I mean, who cares? It's a tempo bench. Uh, it serves it for its purpose. Uh, and then, oh, man, the lift, man, the freaking lift, 455 on Saturday. I was pretty, I was pretty stoked. That's like, because I think ideally I'd open at 430, go 455, go 480 is kind of what I have in my mind. And so for that to, if that's my second attempt, I mean, on that day, so this was yesterday, I probably could have hit I am not joking. You'll see the lift. I maybe I probably could hit 490 that day if I really wanted to. Um, that 455 freaking flew. Like that was not an eight and a half. That that could that could have been a seven and a half to be honest with you. That I could not believe how fast that went, how fast that moved. That was um, man. That was I was stoked. I'm like I am going to obliterate this meat. Like obliterate this meat. So watch me suck next Saturday, this Saturday, but I don't think that'll happen. I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna crush it. Uh, as far as this week's goes, I saw the training looks great. Um, day one, I'm just gonna do 4:30 again for on squat because that's what my opener is gonna be. And then I see a deadlift RP8. I'm just gonna do 270 again just to get me that estimate where max is 292. Um, and then day two is easy, you know, tempo bench whatever, and then uh, some really light deadlifts. Um, so. So my thought was, I think we're on the same page here. Openers is going to be 430, 260, 555, whatever the kilos comes out to be for that. And then final attempts would be 480, 292, and 622. Um, man, another thing that's kind of crazy about this week, I need to tell you this. Like this is, so our first meet together, March 2018. So we're, we're almost two years in. This week, I hit a 430, no, I, well, this week I had a 430 squat, which is more than our first meet back in March of 18, because my, my max there was 425. And I hit a 455 squat this week. Last January, January of 19, my max was 453 at that at my first USAPL meet. So I hit more than my max this week and crushed it. Uh, as far as bench goes, I mean I hit I hit a 270 bench this week. Our first meet back March of 18, obviously I was kind of hurt, but hit 230. Um, also last January, my first USAPL meet, I only hit 265 because I sucked at freaking pausing. Um, so I hit more this week than I did last year. Uh, and then as far as deadlift goes, 555 this week was, um, our first meet March of 18. I only hit 550. So I benched or deadlifted more than my max <laughs> two years ago. And then last year, January 19, I hit like 5.78, so only like 20 pounds less, and I freaking smoked it in training, like high fatigue, like, oh gosh, was, it's just amazing to see the progress. Um, just kind of touch on my body feels, my body feels good, everything feels really good, shoulder bugging me just a little bit, but like nothing bad, nothing that's like really affecting my training, it just kind of, kind of just, it hurts here and there, you know, throughout the day, so... But every single day, I'm just, you know, kind of assessing how I feel and just kind of rolling out the areas with a little cross ball or a softball or whatever other tools I have. And that's 
that's just done wonders for me. That has one, been one of the biggest differences this meat prep or this whole training cycle from uh, past training cycles is I've really, really, really focused on like trying to do something every day to make my body feel good. And that's made a huge difference. Um, yeah. So I will continue to do that. Um, kind of touch on your video. I thought it was kind of interesting. I never really thought about like how I kind of do a top down approach to training. I guess I never really thought of that. I definitely do though. Cause I always like, I always start. So like, I'm going to take two weeks off after the meet. And then I, I'll always start like, I don't know, five, 10 something pounds above where I started the last meet. And then just increase it by five pounds every, every week, you know, like I won't go two weeks from now and like try and hit an estimated one or max of 485, <laughs> you know, I'll probably hit an estimated one or max of like on squat of like 415 or something and then add five pounds every week. And before you know it, we're at my next meet and my estimated one or max is 500. So yeah. Um, I never really thought about that though. Yeah. I know when we first started together, you were always telling me, cause I'd never used RPE before. And you're always telling me like, you know, just take what's there on the day, you know, and all that stuff. And some, some meat prep, I just was kind of like thinking to myself, I'm like, I'm just going to try and add five pounds to my estimate winter max every week. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's, it's so like mental. It's such a mental game. Like I'm, I'm just, I'm going to do this. Like <laughs> there's no, I'm just going to do this. And if it doesn't move like I want to, I'm going to repeat it. And I'm going to repeat it for, I think I usually do, I repeat it for three straight weeks and then I add five pounds to it no matter what. And if that doesn't move well, then I'll drop it 10 to 20 pounds and try and work my way back up. So, and that's seemed to work really well. I think I've done that for at least two meat preps. So I kind of like doing that. I'm just like, that's kind of how my mind works. That, that systematic, just, you know, slow progress. So anyways, I kind of rambled about that. Uh, weigh in in around 204 to 205. So in the morning. So perfect. I, again, I'm like you, man, I'm not going to worry about weigh-ins. Like if I weigh more than 93 kgs by, I, I don't care. Like... <laughs> I'm just going there to set PRs. I don't, it's a local meet. I don't care what I really weigh. I'd like to weigh within the 205 class, but at the same time, I'm not going to cry if I don't. So just going there to set PRs. Um, football should be good today. Excited to watch the, uh, I'm hoping the Titans win. I, I want to see the tight. So, well, I don't, I don't know. I'd probably rather see the Chiefs and the Niners, but uh, Titans and Niners, I guess would be all right. I mean, I kind of like slugfest games sometimes. They're kind of fun to watch, but we'll see. Um, da, da, da. Yeah, we'll definitely do a meat recap uh, video, like a Google Hangout thing or whatever we do next week sometime. I'm pretty much free every day, so figure that out. Um, yeah, I guess my ideas too. I was kind of thinking we would just structure it as like maybe talk about the meat and then I have – I was going to kind of take notes on my squat and my bench and my deadlift and kind of talk about things that – thoughts that I had and then we'll bounce ideas off each other and but yeah benching two times a week sounds good playing around with something on day three sounds good I kind of made a note here like I liked safety squat bar a lot well I hate safety squat bar but I think it had a really good transfer to my squat like a really good transfer I think it kept my shoulder healthy and I wouldn't mind safety squat bar squatting day one and then comp squatting day two um day two squat so yeah um your dog sounds exactly like mine, how he won't retrieve That's his toys. Like he loves, my dog loves like tennis balls and any type of ball, loves them and loves chasing after them. And, but then you throw it and like, he won't bring it back to me. Like, or he'll try and he'll bring it back to me and then he won't give it to me. And I'm like, dude, you love chasing after this ball. Just give it back to me and I'll throw it again and you can chase after it. <sighs> but yeah, he just wants me to chase him too. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. But like your dog, I feel like is part lab, right? Like your lab border collie type mix, I think. It's so like Labrador retriever. Like it should be retrieving. <laughs> like my dog, Shiba Inu. Like they just, I don't. They don't. Like I, I understand why he doesn't retrieve because he's just. A, I don't know. I don't know what he is. He's. I guess they Shiba Inus are technically bred to uh, flush small game. They were hunting dogs, but yeah. Anyways, I'm brand, I am really rambling right now on weird things. So anyways, man, the body feels good. The lifts are just freaking flying. Like I said, I have, I am really confident, like more confident than I think I've ever been going into a meet. Like I am going to crush this meet. So I'm already looking forward to the next meet in the summer. Squat in five, bench in three, 
deadlifting 640 or something. I don't know. So, yeah. All right, man. I'll talk to you later. Hope you're doing well. Hope your training is going well. Let me know if you uh, looked into any meets. I know you were maybe thinking about doing one in the spring, maybe, or summer. So, all right, man. Talk to you later.